Sonia Clark. I'm a Knight Foundation artist in residence here at the McCall Center, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my work. So, I um, I've been working with textiles for a very long time. I was trained as a textile artist, and you'll see that in a lot of the work that is in this video that I work with combs and thread and some other things that you'll associate with textiles, but the combs might seem like the unusual part. And the reason I got to working with combs as a medium is that they are the tool of the first textile art form. And I think of the first textile art form as being hairdressing. I try to use really familiar objects things that people understand, like combs. We all look at a comb, we know what a comb is for, and then I try and transform those things in one way or another. So the idea is that if you're gonna try and communicate something to your audience, to try and use a common vocabulary. So if I use common objects, then we're already speaking the same language. So I've been doing some digital prints while I'm here that have to do with um, using hair as a stand-in for the human body because everything about us is encoded in our hair. Our DNA is, you know, the, the formula that makes us the individuals that we are. But it's also the formula, the DNA is also, our DNA is also the formula that tells us not only who we are as individuals but how we're connected, you know, because most of us, our DNA is not that different. So a lot of the work is thinking about that too, about the common language in DNA. Common language of a comb, common language of a textile, common language of our DNA. So there's some pieces in the show that make reference to African American history and American history in general. The, the show that I'm preparing for here in January 2012, and that is um, one of the anniversaries of the Emancipation Proclamation. Um, at the 150th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. So one of the pieces I'm working on is translating the Emancipation Proclamation into hairballs um, that look like Braille but can't actually be touched. And the notion there is that when Lincoln and um, Congress were writing the Emancipation Pro Proclamation and passing it, they were writing it about African Americans and about American culture and about American economics, really. Um, but the people who were being written about, their voices weren't necessarily heard and their feelings weren't necessarily felt. In the same way that this braille hair piece won't be one that you can touch, but you can see it. And if none of that makes any sense, then you should come and see the show in January. I hope you'll bring your questions and your comments because that's what feeds the next body of work that I make. Thanks.